A long time ago, I did a video on Frank Mincer's Dungeon Level 1. Today, I want to talk about a 2013 printing. It's Frank Mincer's Lich Dungeon Level 2. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's awesome. I kind of gauged the continuum on there on five different points. Uh, story, monsters, difficulty, uh, that sort of thing. So I want to do that with, with Lich Dungeon Level 2. <laughs> Greetings and welcome. I'm trying a new camera angle today. I think it makes me look sneaky. Ah, we couldn't be Dungeons and Coffee without the coffee, right? Frank makes it very clear that you need the first one to run this one, as this is a sequel. And as far as I know, all of the Eldritch Enterprises uh, products do this, but uh, there's a, a mortality rating on the back. Uh, this one is at 60? No, 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 this one's 50. This one's 50% fatality rating. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to look at storyline slash plot. And my rating system is a on a scale from 1d4 uh, being the cliche and 1d20 being unique. Again, this rating system is not whether it's good or bad. It's just a degree of, uh, of something. If you go into this with hack and slash in mind, you're going to die. <laughs> you have to play it smart. Uh, there's a lot of sneaking involved, I would recommend. I don't want to give any spoiler alerts. The storyline is very cliche in a way because it's the classic dungeon delve adventure. You're stuck in a dungeon, you're surrounded by goblins, hobgoblins, all kinds of interesting things in that dungeon. Oh my gosh, all kinds of things. Um, so in that way, it's very cliche, but the reason my rating is... Whoosh, up there through the roof is because of the Norks and the Gunges, okay? So you have a, a new you have a new monster, a Nork, and you have uh, some new interesting types of Gunges involved. In short, to clarify the ramblings of the host, from cliche to unique, the story plot of Lich Dungeon Level 2 rates a D8. A D8 thanks to the Gunges and the ecology of the Norks. So if you don't know what a gunge is, you can Google that. Or better yet, contact Frank Mincer and ask him. He'll be glad to tell you about the gunges. When considering the NPCs or the monsters in the adventure module, uh, again, keep in mind this is a classic adventure module. As a matter of fact, um, this was began many, many moons ago uh, the 70s, I believe it was. It could have been the early 80s, but I believe it was the 70s. And uh, Frank had a lot of notes of just different things he did back in the day. And he has since revised them to fit into more of a storyline so that it fits into an adventure module. Many of the creatures you will find in here are the classic creatures you may expect to see in a dungeon because uh, each, each uh, monster, each NPC, is detailed enough to be very rich in flavor. And the Norks and the Gunges. The Norks and the Gunges make it. They steal the show. Are they interesting or are they cardboard cutouts? So that's kind of what we're going to look at there. On the slider from complex to cardboard, the Gunges and the Norks give this adventure module a 12. We now return to Gliston Fridmunder's unhealthy obsession. Alright, the next one is the artwork. Is it very fluffy, or is it just old school sketches, or is it a variable in between? So that's something we're going to consider. Uh, 
keep in mind, I prefer the old school look with the artwork. Um, with some of the newer adventure modules and the newer RPG books, they're trying to they try to give you a lot of vibrant color, and they are more realistic. But to me, it just puts my mindset in the world of cartoons. And when I'm uh, when I'm involved with an RPG, I don't want to be playing a cartoon. Uh, I want something that's gritty, gritty and real, something I can taste and feel and smell, like um, like the original Conan the Barbarian versus the remake. You know, the remake was beautiful to look at, great popcorn movie, but it didn't have that gritty realism. So that, that's just my personal taste. So keep that in mind as we look at the artwork and the visuals. Concerning the raw or fluffy interior artwork of the adventure module, this module deserves a nostalgic D4. The maps could have used more detail. However, the raw sketches of the monsters and scenery was perfect for old school flavor. Uh, virtually every page has a chart uh, or a map on it. Virtually every page is very chart and map rich. So you won't want for maps for sure. And you'll need them. You will need them, my friend. <laughs> yeah. The variety of obstacles. Was it tough or was it very easy? That's something that I had to consider and that was pretty easy to do. Because we talked about the fatality rating earlier on the back of the module. Uh, Frank pretty much spelled that out for us. However, I would say he was going easy. There's even a chart to tell you the hourly movement of the Norks. Okay? There's even a chart to tell you the daily activity and the daily location of different factions of the Norks. The variety and difficulty of obstacles in this adventure deserves a 10 and a half. Due to the random nature within the adventure, sheer luck should be prayed for often. In the classic sense of, uh, you know, the heroes are sneaking in and they have to dodge around this corner and hide under the tables at certain times, that these charts are going to be really, really handy uh, and necessary. Very well done. And the next rating is, is it DM friendly? Does it seem to be easy for a DM to run? Uh, would there be a lot of homework to do ahead of time? Is it something you can pick up on the go and roll with um, at the last minute? So these are things I'll consider when we're, um, when we're looking at how DM friendly the adventure module is. The format of this adventure module makes it very easy for a game master to navigate through the adventure on the continuum between a headache or like butter. This adventure module gets a 12. Only the lack of dialogue boxes and map detail keeps it from receiving a strong 20. And there you have it. Thanks for watching another episode of Dungeons & Coffee. This is episode 40. And I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget, go to eldritchint.com and check out those awesome products they have. I think at this time they have about 15 somewhere in there. Um, oh, actually, probably more now since I last looked. But um, check them out. Get some great old school modules written by the guys from old TSR that's been there from the beginning. Keep your books off the table. Keep reaching for the dice.